Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Gates. So, Ebony, first of all, congratulations. Your first year in Sports Illustrated. What's it like to be in the swimsuit edition? Um, it means a lot to me. It's very empowering to me. Like the ability to choose to be sexy and to show my body. Like I don't. I just think it's amazing. Um, especially, it's a huge accomplishment as a woman of color, and just being a woman and being fearless. I, I think it's amazing. You were one of the contest winners, so that's kind of cool. You like submit for the contest you're like there's probably no chance I'm gonna win then you find out you won and yeah. you're one of the contestants how cool is that it's amazing because I know like hundreds of girls were interviewed and like you know they probably went to through thousands and thousands of portfolios and it was narrowed down to six girls and I'm one of those lucky six so it feels awesome what is this experience done for you although it's a short time frame so far but what has it done for you in terms of changing your life and your career um I mean, so far, it's just like yesterday I walked out here and people were yelling my name and like taking my picture and I've never had that experience before, like paparazzi style, like, Ebony, Ebony, can I get your autograph? So in terms of that, I was just like in shock, like, is all of this really for me? Like, how could I be so lucky? So definitely life changing already. I've heard one of the coolest tidbits. You have a charity that you're working with. Yeah. Talk to me about the charity, but also being able to use this as a platform to promote that charity. So the charity I'm working with is called The Honey Bees. It's a summer reading camp for girls, um, young girls of color who don't come from great family backgrounds. Maybe they have some problems financially, things like that. So we want to take girls and help them achieve and do well and just be literate and well equipped before they go off to middle school. Um, and then the five girls who succeed during the summer camp, we are going to take abroad. So it's a literacy program, it is also a travel program, because for me those are the two things that sort of allowed me to reach this platform and sort of like allow me to manage life and just move through different crowds and talk to people. And as far as Sports Illustrated goes, I just want to grow my platform as, as much as I can and use this because, you know, do, being able to do interviews and speak about this is amazing, you know, and to, and to get the concepts and ideas out there. Do you find yourself running around, like, I would find, like, Nina and the veterans and Hannah and be like, hey, hey, what, what happens next? Like, how do I use this? Would you, have you asked for advice? Um, I haven't asked for advice yet, but I've watched them so closely throughout the years, like, stalking their Instagrams and just, like, you know, seeing what they're doing. So I'm definitely taking note. How about the three covers? How cool was that? I thought, I've been talking to all the girls today about it. I'm like, I thought it was such an incredible message they put out. Yeah. You've got to be so proud to be part of a brand that's forward thinking like that. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think the three covers thing is amazing. You know, putting a curvy model on there, especially, you know, an athlete. Um, I think it's great. You're reaching so many different audiences. And, I think it's a really great message, a really positive message that you don't have to be one certain type of way to achieve such a great status. Last year I was talking to Haley Clawson. She was a rookie. Now she's on the freaking cover. Yeah. Are you kind of sitting back and like, I've got a chance at this in 2017? I, absolutely. That's like the ultimate goal, honestly, is to make the cover of Sports Illustrated. Um, I mean, that would be like, this is a dream come true, but that's like the ultimate. It's like the Michael Jordan. Congratulations. Yeah, it's Michael Jordan.